Yo, guys, and welcome to episode one of Let's Play Mega Man Extreme. <coughs> In the year 21 X. Control R. Okay. Speed that up. In the year 21 Double X. My bad. I can't hit A. The world has become a place where the human race coexists with reploids. Many years ago, a mysterious blue robot was found named Mega Man X. This robot possessed a high level of intelligence. It also was able to <laughs> display emotions like humans. Mega Man X was a robot that people thought could never be duplicated by modern science. Even though Mega Man X is a good-natured robot with a kind and warm personality, he also has the power to cause a lot of destruction. Yes. I know the audio sounds great with me speeding it up here, but trying to read it. Dr. Kane studied and analyzed Mega Man X and then succeeded in creating the Reploids. However, some Reploids began to malfunction due to problems with their electronic brain. God, I'm so tempted to press A. They are called Mavericks. The Reploids who hunt them are called Maverick Hunters. In order to help X become a Maverick Hunter, later, a red robot was found. This robot, named Zero, had high attack power. When he was found, he was out of control like all the other Mavericks. The strongest Reploid, Sigma, helped to bring Zero under control. Sigma took Zero <laughs> under his watch. Oh, this is so painful. After that, Zero never malfunctioned again, and was eventually promoted to a special A-level hunter. Soon after, Sigma rose in revolt and tried to destroy everything, and then the Mavericks kept increasing and became more powerful. But thanks to X and Zero's work, the peace was restored over and over again. However, uh, finally, yeah, sorry about that. I can't, I can't hit A or anything, as you guys kind of saw at the beginning. I was trying to press A to see if I could scroll it along a little bit, but it doesn't exactly let me do that. Uh, I'm glad I can play this on an emulator to record, like last time. Because being able to set the start button to any button on a controller is really nice. Uh, I supported this game by buying it on the 3DS eShop, but it's just really awkward playing it on the 3DS. Anyways, for formal introductions, welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 1. Now, for those of you that don't know, Mega Man Extreme is... It's a spin-off game to the X series that takes place in between Mega Man X 2 and 3. I think it's... It was only supposed to be like a few months after X2 that this takes place. But anyways... Um, oh yeah, also this game is weird. Basically, there... I haven't played through the game on this emulator, apparently, but... Basically, there's normal and hard mode. Now, normally you'd think when you beat normal mode and unlock hard mode, that's just basically the same game again, but... Some games you can't find health upgrades and stuff and enemies and bosses deal more damage, right? You're wrong with this one. And why is that? Well, because hard mode in this game is technically an entirely different game and it's really no different <laughs> from normal mode. So I don't... I don't know why they s made it hard mode because it's really no different than the regular game, but... Well, in terms of difficulty, that, uh, whatever.
Where am I now? You will notice basically a lot of the stuff in this game are borrowed from. Uh, oops, forgot about you. A lot of the things in this game are borrowed from X1 and 2. Same with the second Extreme game, but Mega Man Extreme 2 has a lot more originality to it than this one. This place is familiar. Why am I here? Yes, X, why are you here? Gotcha. Get him, get him, get him! Ow! Really? You can do that while you're shooting your machine guns? Raw. Come on. I know. One of the many Mega Man games that this stage is reused in. Mega Man X7. Oh, you know, this is the first one to reuse it, since it was a Game Boy Color game. Then Mega Man X7, then Mega Man ZX, and I think it was in ZX Advent as well. Get out of here. Yeah, those autosave points are actually kind of annoying. Because every time you run into them, you always lose your charge, and it... I know it's a Game Boy Color game, so you can't expect a whole lot, but whatever. Vile! Why are you... It can't be! I crossed you! Die, X! Ooh. Vile, so difficult. Or Vava. I'm gonna guess that there was an entirely different team that worked on this game from the other Mega Man X games. I mean, I'll assume it was just, like, a really small team of translators for this. Doo -doo. Zero, you must tell me! Tell me what's going on! X, now we see terrible confusion all over the world. Someone broke into the mother computer system of the Hunter base and set its data to sabotage the world order. Who is doing such a thing? I won't allow anyone to disturb the peace we've tried hard to maintain! It seems that they are... ...reproducing the fighting data of the past. X, your data is contained in the past data in the mother computer. And the one who brought you back from the data world is... Hi, I'm Mitty! Mitty is the greatest computer genius in the world. No one can match him. He'll work with us to solve this case. It's nice to meet you, X. Nice to meet you, too. Let's work together to restore peace. X, so... Let me explain what we should do. In order to put the past data back, we need to fix the... Uh, we need to fix a data in the core of the mother computer. This is the core of the mother computer. Uh-oh. Only four bosses. That can't be right. But the weight of the core is protected. Unless you clear the protection, you can't enter the core. The guardians of the protection is the boss data of the past. To break the protection, there's no other way but to get into the computer as a data form and then crush them all. Zero, I'll do it. Okay, I'll let you handle this. I'll stay here and clean up all the mavericks who are committing crimes in the confusion. Don't forget that even though they're the past data, they're still very strong. X, be careful. Alright, here we go. Good luck, X. Energy charge! Setup complete! Ready to transform! Start the in- uh, Start the installation! Oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> yeah, I was playing a little bit earlier, trying to get myself back into the... ...feel of the game. This game is really short and quick. If you think 
The other Mega Man X games are quick. <laughs> you haven't played the extreme games. Anyways, just like every other Mega Man game, we'll start off with Chill Penguin. Because, well... As usual, he's the most pathetically easy boss. Oops, why did I stop my jump? Ow! I don't know why I stopped there for you. Yeah, laugh, laugh, laugh. I'll shoot you. Come on, no health? No health for me? No one wants to give me health. I guess no one likes me anymore. Oh, get out of here. Now this part, I don't know why that's there, but... Yeah, just... Kinda jump up, let it pop up on the screen, and then go out. Enter this capsule, X. Take this leg upgrade. The upgrade will enhance your mobility on climbing the wall. This upgrade will also allow you to crush certain blocks. Your field of activities have now been expanded. Go destroy the evil, X. Thank you, Dr. Light. Oh yeah, you don't get to watch the upgrade. It's not like Mega Man... well... Oh yeah, it was visible. It was pretty much visible in every Mega Man game until X5. Because starting X5, you have like multiple armors and stuff. Actually, I don't think it was in... I think there was only one armor in X7 too, wasn't there? I don't know, you kind of had the option to go between whatever armors you wanted in X8. You were given the choice to choose it. Um, again, like Chill Penguin, health upgrade, right here. But we don't have Flame Mammoth, how do we get it? Easy! We have Flame Stag, so we come back here with Flame Burner. No, you don't. Look at that, we're all ready to Chill Penguin. I know, it's, it's really short. It... It's fun. It's just ridiculously short. Yeah, Joe Penguin actually takes a few hits in this game. Of course you're gonna do that. Wow, that was good. I couldn't... Gotta love Game Boy Color. Oh, come on. Come on, Chill Penguin, just... Uh, thank you. Oh, you prick it at... Okay, thank you. Thank you, Flickering. I can't see half of the shit down there. <sighs> yeah, this... Chill Penguin is easy, but if he starts... I don't know. Being on a game... Being a Game Boy Color game, there is a lot of Flickering, so... You have to watch out for... You have to try and remember where things are, otherwise... Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's like that on your screen for you guys, but... Oh, shit, don't dash and jump X. Come on, Chill Penguin, we've got to kill you. We know you're... The most annoying boss in this game. And, of course, you're just going to repeat this over and over again. That's fine. As long as you don't bring out your little... Shit. One on the right is completely invisible for me. Oh, come on. Yeah, you kind of want to do that if he's... Oh boy. One closest to me is gone! Come on, chill penguin! No! <laughs> yeah, I expected that. I can't see it. I know it's there, but it's just... I hope it actually comes up the way it is on my screen for you guys. Because I hate that sometimes the... 
Camtasia Studio actually records it well, but on my screen it's like invisible. You got the shotgun eyes. I didn't expect the past data could be destroyed so easily. Huh. We would get into trouble if the computer protections are broken. We need to make a move quickly. <laughs> Take it easy. Let's relax and see his action from here. Gemmel, you'll get hurt if you disvalue his power. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll crush him for sure. Okay, you go then. <laughs> Don't fail us. And we're done with the first stage. And, well, actually, let's just go ahead and do another stage. Every stage is shortened in this game anyway, so... Oh yeah, Storm Eagle doesn't actually have a weakness in this game anymore. Well, technically he does. It's the X-Buster now. Oh shit. Yeah, it's really easy to kill yourself in this game. The controls are really loose. That it is really good for a Game Boy Color game, though. That I have to give it credit for. I mean, it looks nice and it plays really well for being a Game Boy game. Come on! Just like usual, we'll jump up here and we'll go and get the health upgrade. Do fire fire at me. Yeah, I know. Music doesn't sound that great. <laughs> Just deal with it. Kind of how it sounds, doesn't it? Kind of grating on your ears. Alright, so now we have the head upgrade. Enter this capsule, X. This head upgrade will give you the ability of the head crush, and allow you to crush certain blocks. Don't hold back, crush them all. Now if only that worked on enemies. Hey, Sigma, huh? Kapush! Ow! You prick X. There's the one thing I hate about the leg upgrades, is it makes you jump ridic- Ah, come on, you guys are so slow in this game. Ah, oh, get out of here! Fuck it. We're already pretty much to Storm Eagle, so... Okay, I thought I was out of reach for that, but... Whatever. Jump down! And we're the Storm Eagle! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, I know the bosses look pretty, too, compared to their Super Nintendo and PSP counterparts, huh? Damn it, I hate that. I... I always hear that little whoosh at the last second. That's part of the problem with Game Boy Advance. I mean, not Game Boy Advance. Game Boy and Game Boy Color speakers, they're just mono, so... A lot of the sound effects can overlap. Damn it. Uh, Storm Eagle. Please die for me. I'm sure that sounds really nice too. It does get grating on the ears, I know. <clears throat> you got the Storm Tornado! I know. Yes. Okay, well... We went through that quickly, so... We're gonna end this episode off here for now, and I guess I'll see you guys... 
Uh, this is going to be a real... Well, actually, it might... It'll probably be as long as Mega Man X. Probably about six episodes, just because hard mode adds another four bosses. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's it for today's episode. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Until then, bye guys.